Go and coach your fake kids, Harry Bood and Heckles, as he gives a talk at Life Coaching Summit. What happened this time is what we want to talk about. But before I do that, I actually want to show you the, the actual report, as you can see on the screen, so that you can read with me and see uh, for yourself what I'm talking about. So Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, found himself in, in the unwelcome spotlight of audience approval, uh, disapproval during a recent life coaching summit. A reported attempt to inspire and motivate attendees with his personal experiences backfired spectacularly descending into a cacophony of boos and heckles. Video footage circulating on social media paints a picture of a frustrated and increasingly defensive Harry attendees who reportedly paid a premium to hear the princess's insights on mental health and personal growth seemed less than impressed with his message. One particularly vocal audience member can be heard shouting, go and coach your fake kids. While some have defended Harry's right to profit from his experiences, others question the authenticity of his message. Critics point out that the prince has never held a normal job or experienced the financial pressures faced by most uh, his life has been one of the privilege, uh, privilege and entertainment, sorry, entitlement, raising doubts about his ability to genuinely connect with the struggles of the average person. The live coaching summit incident serves as a stark illustration of his disconnect. Had he seemingly oblivious to the audience's growing discontent, continued to deliver his pre-prepared speech, this self-absorption further alienated the crowd who felt <coughs> they were being lectured to by someone out of touch with their reality. The fallout from the summit has been swift and brutal. Social media is awash with criticism, uh, with many accusing Harry of being a washed-up royal peddling his lies and serving his own purposes. Now, I also want you to take a look at this report. That way you will know why people are so frustrated and why some people are actually booing him. Yes, unfortunately, uh, without the protection of the royal family and the royal family massaging what uh, the press knows about members of the royal family, unfortunately, you're really out there for the public to to uh, know you in your full glory. Uh, so basically, the company that uh, Prince Harry is chief, uh, chief impact officer of Better Up, which is a life coaching company, has just laid off uh, about 100 employees. And a few of those employees are grumbling, asking, uh, you know, what this particular individual, Prince Harry in this case, is doing to justify his seven-figure salary when and allegedly the com the company's um, you know cutting so basically what we understand from this whole thing is that Harry has offered nothing to the company yet he is receiving is receiving not five figure six figure seven figure salary for doing absolutely nothing and these are the questions asked by people who, these 100 people who got laid off I think uh, it was a few months ago uh, not recently and they have absolutely no answer why they are being laid off when you have someone at the top receiving seven figure salary so this is obviously increasing the misery of people and thanks to harry for all of that to happen i want you to take a look at this report as you can see this is the most recent photo uh, prince harry and mindy kelling shared a smile backstage at the better up summit in san francisco on april 8th the duke of nobody 39 an emmy award nominated writer producer and actor 44 cross paths at the two-day uplift conference where they were both speakers as seen in a snap shared to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's recently launched success.com website. Harry and Kelling posed for a picture behind the scenes together. Again, Harry is paddling his own lies, his own propaganda. He's serving his own interest. It is not about coaching, life coaching or nothing. He is using for all of this the royal titles, the Sussex, Sussex.com website. And this is why Prince William is so furious and King Charles that you cannot use these websites to promote your own interest for your commercial gain for whatever reason it is you're doing. Because in this case, Better Up is a job for Harry and he's promoting that job on the website that has the royal title. 
Harry cannot do this. Better up has nothing to do with the royals, with the monarchy. So how come Harry is using it? Well, you guessed it right. He's a grifter, right? He has to live up to his name. Harry and Kaling posed for a picture behind the scenes together. Now, Kaling also posed, uh, posted the photo on her Instagram account on April 11th, mentioning her friend Meghan Markle and Harry's best-selling memoir spare in the caption. She wrote, quote, Met my friend's husband at an event. Seemed pretty cool. Said he wrote a book. Gonna go check it out. So basically, what we understand is that they are not alone. There are a lot of other grifters out there, such as uh, Ke uh, Ling, uh, who is taking full advantage of these two grifters. So, the, you know, the, the other grifters are leeching on these two grifters, Meghan and Harry. So these are all grifters. They have accomplished nothing. I mean, Ke Ling, why are you receiving this award? What have you done? There is absolutely no mentioning. What was mentioned by Kaling? Well, I met my uh, my best friend's husband, Prince Harry. We had good time. But please talk about better up. Please talk about people's life, real struggles. We don't see that happening. So these are all fake. These are all PR coming from Sussex Squad and all of those grifters out there. Elsewhere at the event where Prince Harry took part in a conversation with C suit leaders in his role as Perrup's chief impact officer, Kelling had something playful to say about her parenting philosophy. Mm -hmm, really? Something parenting philosophy? What do you know about even anything about parenting? The never have I ever creator star hit the stage with psychologist and author Adam Grant for a conversation titled Leading with Laughter. Again, there is a huge lack in substance in what Kaling is saying or trying to emphasize. So I'm not going to be really reading what she has to say. It, it doesn't really make any difference because these are all lies. These are all media propaganda. And as you can see on the screen, uh, Megan and uh, sorry, Harry and Kaling, uh, they're posing, they're happy, they're receiving a lot of money from Better Up. Well, Better Up is laying off hundreds of people. And these people are absolutely devastated that the uh, company, uh, life coaching company, can you believe this? Life coaching company uh, cannot even pay to those people who are struggling in real life. So how can this be a life coaching company? Like, I, I don't understand how they operate. These are all like fake news. These are all like PR. Better up is it's not successful at all. They're just doing some PR. They're just trying to get some attention. And this is why they hired this grifter who doesn't know anything about real life struggles whatsoever. But we are living in a very, very strange world where you never know why you get hired and you never know why people are getting paid and nothing. This is very, very strange. Um, thank you so much, guys, for joining this session. If you have any comment, leave a comment in the comment section below. I have a comment as Hicks. Uh, if Netflix was smart, they would have a nonfiction friendship um, series. Yeah, of, of course. Uh, Netflix is not smart. They are dumb people. Thank you again. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Take care.